Oh, that poor little squirrel. All right, everyone. Hello and welcome to Wildlife Park 2, which I'm really excited about. So we're playing Wildlife America, and this is actually the successor to our really fun uh, little Pet World 3D game. You can kind of see some of the similar patterns that the Pet World are. Look, they look like our bins to throw away the trash in. There we go. But this is the successor to Pet World 3D, so instead of working at a domestic animal rescue center, we are working at a wildlife animal rescue center. And this one being the wildlife focused primarily in America. So raccoons, deer, wolves, bears, squirrels, things like that. I have never played it before, so we're gonna dive right in and just kind of see what we can do. This is the fully unlocked version, so we should have access to all of the amazing animals and oh my gosh, is that a mushroom I spy right there? Oh, that would be so cool if that's a mushroom. Oh, that makes me so excited. But let's dive on in and see if we can help that poor little squirrel because it, it just looked like it was so hurt. Welcome! Animals that need your help are brought to our park. Look! There's our first visitor. Tap on the car and pick him up. Alright, is it the little squirrel? Oh my goodness, so he's okay. Oh, her name's Annie! Look at how cute she is! Dirt daily treatment ongoing. So she's, she's dirty? Is that what that means? Okay, there's Annie. We'll start by fitting out the enclosure. Drag the feeding bowl to the correct place. Alright, so oh, hi sweetie! Now place the water bowl. All right, so we're gonna get her food and water set up. Wild animals need a place of refuge as they are often quite shy. So pull the pen into the enclosure. Oh, that's a good thing. So they're providing a nice little safe place for her to be able to hide too. To get an idea of the condition of the animal, tap on the clipboard. Here you will find information out such as how much the animal weighs. Because I'm sure that's the most relevant thing that we wanna know first of all. So Annie, how much do you weigh? Um, you weigh middling. You weigh lower level yellow, Annie, and uh, I guess that's your like overall health or happiness is, is headed towards the green. Um, but health checkup, you're kind of in the red there. Dirt ongoing, what does that mean? Okay, now tap on the apple in the inventory to switch to the feeding area. Well, we gotta get her set up with food and water first, it seems. This squirrel is far too light for its size and needs to put on some weight, so give it a large portion of food. Drag three portions into the bowl. All right, we got this. All right, so one, oh hi, three, three. Oh, we have money now, that's so exciting. Check the squirrel's weight again. It's now gone back into the green zone. All right, if you say so, sir. Woo, green zone, but not overweight. We don't want a fat squirrel. I don't know if Annie could be released to the wild if she was like a really chunky monkey squirrel and couldn't scurry up to those trees anymore. Now give the animals some water. All right, we got that. There you go, Annie. To keep the enclosures clean, they need fresh straw daily. All right, <gasps> and are we gonna give her a little acorn? I would love that. Look again at the clipboard so we can see what our guest actually needs. All right, so what will this tell me? Um, dirt. What does that mean? Annie, look at your little squirrely eyes. <laughs> I'm looking deep into your little squirrely eyes. Tell me, what does it mean that you need dirt? Um. Oh, its coat is dirty. Clean it using the sponge from the treatment inventory. All right, so these are the treatments. Okay, so we're gonna grab the sponge. Scrub it up, dub. Check the clipboard again. The squirrel now has everything it needs. Other treatments, however, could take several days. All right, so like other other fixes, like a little, uh, there's some pills and some ointment, and it looks like there's a vaccine or at least just a intravenous injection. And then we've got a little, little uh, bandage over here. All right, treatment finished. Okay, so she was dirty and just needed kind of cleaned up. Okay, she looks like she's good. Hey, it's really great. See, uh, it's really great that you looked after your first animal so well. Tap on the trophy and collect a reward. All right, so this is the kind of job where they're gonna pat you on the back and feed you a cookie and just for being able to tie your shoes. No problem. All right, trainee keeper, you looked after your first animal. One hundred dollars! Yay! Of course, we get to spend it just on the animals. Yay! All right. You can also spoil the squirrel with treats from the feeding inventory. How about a tasty pine cone? Oh, fun fact, I actually found a pine cone on the path today that a squirrel had clearly eaten, and it was really cool. All right, here you go. Have a tasty pine cone. There you go, sweetie. All right, but don't go crazy. If you give him another pine cone, you can see that the positive effect is less. All right, because you're going to get chunky monkey squirrel. Oh, do I have to do it again? 
Okay, so now it's just a two. We should buy the squirrel a tunnel so that he has plenty to keep him occupied. Tap on the shopping cart. Ooh, so this one's really a lot better laid out than the other one was. And we'll get him a little tunnel right here. Okay. Alrighty. What other stuff's in here? Ooh, a fancier tunnel. Oh, it looks like for squirrels. And there's little, like, upgrades. And it looks like there's a skunk and a raccoon and a wolf and a bear. This is going to get exciting. Drag the tunnel from the equipment inventory into the enclosure. All right, we got this. All right, there you go. There you go, Annie. Now tap on the tunnel and see what happens. All right. Hey, Annie. Come, come in there. Oh, that's so cute. Look at her. Oh, how cute. By the way, this works with all objects that you have placed in the enclosure. Would you like to stroke the squirrel? Just try it. If you're really running a wildlife rescue, guys, don't, don't play with your wildlife animals, please. Um, oh, I, oh, she's so cute. Does she want to go in her little house? <gasps> no way, she'll go in her little house. <gasps> oh, that was the cutest thing in the world. Was that not the cutest thing in the world? Do it again, Annie. Oh, my goodness. That's just so precious. Okay, okay, so I'm supposed to tap on her. Hi. Am I supposed to, like... She's like, hey, I don't know about this. Am I... Oh, like this. Our goal is to find a new home for the animals. Here comes someone who can help us out. Tap the portrait. All right. Hello, sir. Thank you for looking after Annie. Would you entrust your animal to our zoo? Um, I, can she just not go back in my backyard? But I guess, okay. Here you go. Um, all right. Bye, Annie. Before the next animal arrives, we need to clean the enclosure. Drag the shovel over the dirty straw, then over the bucket until the floor is clean. All right. I got this. All right. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. This is a much more interactive way to clean. Now we need to clean the floor with water. Aim the hose pipe at the dirt patches until the floor is clean. All right. This is a lot harder than just when we were cleaning the puppy enclosures at the rescue. Very nice. Everything is clean. We can welcome a new guest. That's a good way of looking at the rescue animals. All right. Speaking of which, what smells so strange? That can only be a skunk. Swipe across the grounds and find it. Here's a tip. The skunk enclosures are higher up. Oh my gosh, we have a skunk. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, wow. These are some big enclosures over here. I'm really approving the size over here. Um, ooh, there's some big enclosures. Oh my goodness, it's a skunk. You found it. Now treat it kindly, just as you did the squirrel. All right. So, hi, buddy. You're... I hope I have lots of tomato juice on hand. Oh, boy. All right. So, um, let's see what we can do for you. Oh, it has worms. Okay. So, it needs daily ongoing treatment. Your name is Bella. Bella the skunk. A oh, weight is good. So, just one feeding should do, maybe. Um, or maybe two to maintain it, I think. And then, uh, maybe a snack. Okay. So, uh, there's one. Okay, and there's that. Did I make her too? Do I make her too chunky monkey? I made her a little too chunky monkey. So one feeding would have been enough. Uh, some. Oh, there you go. Lots of stuff. Um, hang on, uh, Bella. Let me see. Do you want a little, a little, a little bug? Oh, that's so cute. She a little bug. Okay, how's she doing? Okay, now let's see if we can give her her good treatment. Worms. Um, pills. You did it! Oh look, the sun has gone down. There won't be any new visitors now, and you can call a day if you finished everything. Well, I think we, we have uh, done quite well tending to everything. Okay, well, we have to call it a day. I kind of wanted to look around, but no. <gasps> it's so cute! Except, like, this doesn't happen. It, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> the wolf and the raccoon and the squirrel sleeping together. Not so much. Good morning. It's great the way you take on responsibility here. I hope you have lots of fun with today's visitors to our wildlife park. If you need an overview of the park, tap the button with the map. All right, sir. Like this one? Oh, so here's the skunks. There's where the wolves go. Uh, here's raccoon exhibit. Here's the squirrel exhibit. Here's the main place. And there's the bears. So it's spe we specialize in five different creatures, it seems. And there are mushrooms right here. Oh, that's so awesome. I love mushrooms. Man, I like this place. Look at this place. It's nice! Nice! Very nice! Ooh, and we have a little trophy. Trainee keeper. Oh, no, skilled animal keeper. Yay! We completed all the initial training. Let's come in and check on our little friend Bella here. Uh, ooh, there's a new... Okay, oh my gosh, okay. Somebody might be really hurt. Hang on, Bella, we'll be back. All right, what's going on here? <gasps> it's a bear! What? Sammy the bear, okay. Oh my goodness! Hi, 
Hi, sir. Well, let me go ahead and get your exhibit kind of set up. Uh, your enclosure, I should say. Oh, there you go. Okay, and then, um, all right, what can we do for you? You need, uh, you've got like some sort of virus, I think. So maybe an intravenous injection. And your weight is doing okay. So it looks like it's mostly uh, a nasty little virus that's kind of making him feel under the weather. Does that do it? Yeah, okay. So daily treatment is done. He needs ongoing treatment to get better. Um, let's see, let's give him, whoops, we need the, there we go, the bedding, have a fish, oh my gosh, this is so cool, I want more money so I can buy them things, uh, and I think that, that takes care of you, sir, can I do any more for you, buddy, I don't think I, I really, tell me, can I really, oh, did I just scratch him, can I scratch you at all, or, oh, he's waving at us, oh, do you want to go in your little enclosure? Oh, it's so cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh. He's like, yeah, this is mine. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, Sammy, um, that's like, it could be another really injured animal. So let's come back over here. Okay. What's going on? <gasps> it's a wolf already. What? And it has a rash. Um, maybe some sort of, oh, I hope it's not mange or something like that. All right. So let's get you set up. Oh, this is so exciting. Whoa, oh dear. Okay. I'm, I'm like throwing the water bottles and things around. Okay. Let's get this set up properly. We need some good bedding. Uh, some wolf chow. How's the food? Okay. So she doesn't really have an issue when it comes to, uh, not being underweight, but we'll need to treat that rash. There we go. Here's a little, here's a little thing. There you go. Yeah, what do you think? Oh my gosh, I can't believe we already are, like, treating wolves. This is kind of amazing. Okay, um, oh wait, is there anything else I can get you? Like, extra that I, I could maybe put in for you? Um, woof, woof, woof. Um, no. <laughs> I could get her, like, upgraded things in a nice rock in the future. Oh, I want to get more experience so we can take more care of them. Do you want, do you want another little chew? There you go. I, I really shouldn't do this. Okay, this is, this is like a, this is a no-no, just so you guys know. Um, big part of when you take in rescues for wildlife is you do not want them to become too accommodated to humans. You want them to keep their good fear of humanity so that when they're released back into the wild, they're A-OK -okay and safe. All right, what's going on here? It's Pepper! It's a little raccoon! Oh, and he's got a big old cut on him. I wonder if he got in a fight with a dog or something. Oh, he's really underweight. He's not doing good. Okay, you hang in there, Pepper. We're gonna try to bring you around. All right, let's put the food and water down. Now, other than the basic medical treatment, with a lot of the animals in most wildlife centers, they just kind of need the medical treatment, and they need quiet, and they need safety to be able to rest and recover. Um, he's probably going to need a bandage, huh? There we go. All right, so we've treated his injury. Let's give him some acorns, even though I know you'd probably enjoy cat food, huh, Mr. Raccoon? All right, there we go. Oh, there we go. Man, this is turning out pretty nice, isn't it? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, the skunk. That's right. We were in the middle of, like, taking care of our little skunk. Have I already, yeah, daily treatment done? And then we need to give you... All right, how's your weight doing? Weight is managing pretty fairly. There we go. So we just kind of need to keep rotating among the animals. That's not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Making sure that they've got enough to eat. All right. And how's your sickness going? Seems like you're doing good. Doing good. All right, and oh, oh my goodness. Okay, sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of injured animals coming in, but you know, we're doing our job. All right, let's see. And Gizmo, the raccoon. Okay, seems to be a little bit underweight, so I wonder what his problem is. Hey, buddy. All right, we're going to get you all set up. Oh my goodness, so that you're going to be nice and safe and happy. Let's see, a little bit underweight, yeah? Yeah, you could use a little bit more food. How's that? Uh, maybe a teeny bit more, even. Yeah, now he's nice and smack dab in the center there. All right, there you go. You can have a little acorn. Oh, he's so cute. And then, um, oh, he's dirty too, so we need to give him a good scrubbing. There you go, Gizmo. There we go. So he should be A-OK -okay now. Well, there we go. And apparently we can buy some new things, maybe? <gasps> we can! We can get new little squirrel things. Oh, we could get a little bird feeder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want more money. I want more money and more levels so we can get, like, a nice rock for the wolves and things like that. 
Oh, so this is going pretty good, actually. But all right, guys. So this has been like day one, and we already are overflowing with animals. I can't wait till we can start releasing them safely back into the wild or to institutions who'll be able to take good care of them. <gasps> there's more different kinds of mushrooms and butterflies over here. That is so cool. Oh, there's a zoo person. We love cheeky raccoons. We'll be glad to offer Gizmo a home. All right. Wow. I can't believe that we've like already managed to find some of them a good home. All right, so poor little Gizmo. Maybe he just didn't have what it took to be like a wild animal. But normally, oops, nope. I'm, I was, I was trying to. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but normally, when you're doing these kinds of wildlife rescues, the goal really is to return the animal back to the wild. You don't want to try to tame them. You don't want to try to domesticate them. You don't want to try to make them into cute little pets. Mm -mm. They have a vital role to serve in the ecosystem, and it's more important to respect them for that than to try to turn them into something that's just cutesy for people. You know what I mean? And we'll leave the bedding out of here so it won't go bad while we wait for a new animal. Whew. But there we go. All right, so progress is definitely being made. We already had turnover on Gizmo, and it's still the same day. But I will see you guys next time when we will continue working with these wild animals. This is really awesome. You can see how it's been a tremendously updated game uh, from the first version that we played, where it was just the domestic animals in the rescue center. And I can't wait to see what else we can do for them. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.